Proudly, we hail. City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Air Force to bring you this story, as proudly we hail the United States Air Force. Our story is entitled, The Champ. Airman Third Class Jerry Latham, a student at Lowry Air Force Base's famed photographic school, has a lot of difficulties, but in the end, we think you'll agree that he lives up to the title. Our first act curtain will rise in a moment. But first, many times a man is skilled in a particular job, yet unable to find a use for it. Has this happened to you? Are you a service veteran with the service gained skill that's going to waste? Then listen you may be able to put that skill to work as a member of the United States Air Force. The Air Force needs experience and know-how gained in all of the armed forces. If you possess one of the critical skills needed to keep America's air defense strong, you can put that experience to work in the Air Force and do so at a higher grade and with higher pay than you may realize. You've earned credits toward a valuable retirement income, so protect that initial investment. For full details, write or visit your Air Force recruiter. Ask for the prior serviceman's folder. This folder will show you why today and tomorrow you're better off in the United States Air Force. And now we present the first act of the Proudly We Hail production, The Champ. <laughs> Yes? Forty-five minutes to Denver, sir. Huh? Forty-five minutes before we get in. If y'all go to eat breakfast, you have to hurry. Oh, oh, breakfast. Yeah, thanks. Yes, sir. Boy, I'm glad I hurried. I'd have hated to miss this chow. It's a good thing the porter woke me up. Yeah, me too. Boy, I was really sleeping. Oh, gee, you know, I think I like this riding on a train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're almost there. Gee, Bruce, I wonder what it's going to be like. Oh, they say Lowry's a pretty nice base. Yeah, it's pretty big, though. Uh, I guess we'll find out in about an hour, anyhow. Yeah, and whatever it's like, the, the school is going to be terrific. Yeah, that's right. You know, we're pretty lucky, Jerry. You're not kidding. Imagine us a couple of guys just out of basic, and we get a chance to go to the school that we pick. Yeah, and the photographic school is one of the ones that's most in demand. Oh, yeah, because with a photographic school behind you, you can really get ahead in the Air Force. Yeah. I mean, there, there isn't a command that doesn't really need photographic technicians. But look at, look at the Strategic Air Command, for instance. Yeah, that's right. Now, what kind of specialization you suppose you'll aim for? Gee, I just don't know. I mean, I, there's so many things. Things like, like being a lab technician. Yeah, and the uh, training command has so many opportunities in the maintenance and repair line. You know, for the cameras they used to record the movements of students. It's sure hard to choose. Everything sounds so interesting. Well, I guess that's why you sort of have to go through the basic course before you do pick a field. That way you get a really solid background in photo work of all kinds. By the time you finish, you can tell what part of it really appeals to you the most. And they can tell what kind of work you're best suited for, too. Don't forget that part of it. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway... I can't wait. Yeah. And no matter what happens, there's one thing for sure, and that is it's a real opportunity. I'm sure going to make the best of it. Yeah, me too. Uh, this is it. Yeah. Say, uh, where do we go from here? Well, that looks like an Air Force bus over there. Let's take a look. Uh, I guess it is for us. It's Mark Lowry, all right. Yeah, there must be quite a few arriving on this train. I saw some in the diner last night. Me too. I recognized a couple from Lackland and from other flights that were going through when we were there. I guess the others must be from other basic training bases like parks. They come from all over to go to school here. <laughs> Here's a seat, Jerry. Well, you take that one. I'll sit across the aisle. Oh, uh, excuse me, Sergeant. Oh, that's okay. 
Plenty of room. Thanks. New on the base here? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Bruce Hanson is my name. Hanson? And this is my buddy, Jerry Latham. Latham? We just finished basic. We've been assigned to the photographic school. That's fine. I'm Sam Martin. Pleased oh. to meet you. And uh, good luck in the school. Uh, I hope we do as well as we want to. We're pretty enthusiastic about it, even if we do hardly know the front from the back end of a camera. <laughs> well, you soon will. And a lot more, too. You've chosen a fine career field. Uh, we think so. You have been here long? About a year. I'm on the permanent staff. Oh. Been on two weeks' leave. My wife stayed behind with her folks for an extra week. Uh, I guess Lowry's a pretty nice base, huh? I think you'll like it all right. I, I, I guess we'll be pretty busy, huh? Oh, that you will. You fellas are going to get training right from the ground up. Be quite an experience. I should say so. Say, maybe you can tell us something about the courses, uh, if you're on the permanent staff. Yeah, I guess I could. What all do you want to know? Well, all about what we're going to be learning, all that, you know? Well, now, uh, basic course is a well-rounded education in photographic techniques of all kinds. You'll learn lab work, darkroom techniques. You'll be taught about numerous different kinds of cameras, including those used in aerial photography. Oh, how about the ones I've heard about that shoot three pictures simultaneously? Oh, trimetragon cameras, they call them. Yeah, what exactly are they used for? They're used for making aerial charts for our pilots. Well, uh, how is that? Well, by the use of this type of camera, which shoots one picture straight downwards and one on each side, directly alongside, it's necessary for the reconnaissance plane to make but one run to record over 40 times as wide an area as was heretofore possible with a single camera. Mm. Say, getting those strips together afterwards must be quite a job. That's another specialization, correlating them and reading them. That sounds interesting, too. It is. Just it depends on, on, on what appeals to you most. But one thing is sure, and that is whatever you wind up doing, you'll be in a wide-open field. That's what we figured when we chose the photographic course back at Lackland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, t tell, us, tell us more about this basic course. Well, you'll get a smattering of camera repair techniques, the reading and assembly of aerial maps that I just told you about, still photography. Uh, you know, Bruce and I were talking about that one on the train. Is, is, is that going to be hard to learn? Well, all the aspects of photographic work present different problems. However, you've got to remember that you wouldn't be here at all unless you either had previous experience or showed aptitude for it in your test during your basic training period. And, and even if you're like Jerry and me, and you don't know anything at all about it, we shouldn't have any trouble. <laughs> I didn't say that exactly. You're going to have to work. Work hard. In the 14 weeks you'll have here, you'll get a very highly concentrated course. It won't be easy for anyone. Uh, I guess not. In fact, I've just been wondering, ever since I first heard about my assignment, just how it's possible to learn as much as we got to learn in that short a time. <laughs> You'll see. Frankly, I'm betting you'll both get along all right. As long as you keep that enthusiasm. Uh, I guess there's not much danger losing that. Good. That's the right attitude. Boy, walking around in these classrooms, I feel like I've done 20 miles already, <laughs> and it's not even time for chow yet. Uh, the first day's always the worst. Sure hope so. Where now? Uh, the lab next. Uh, right around the corner here. Yeah. Oh, gee, there's Sergeant Martin, the one we met on the bus yesterday. But he can't be in the class. Remember, he said he was on the staff? All right. Let's quiet down now. Quiet. I'm Sergeant Sam Martin. I'm going to be your lab instructor during this course. Gee, what a break. If he's going to be our instructor without a cent, he's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Now, the first thing I want understood is that when I ask for quiet, that's what I want. And I'd like to talk without any competition. Airman Latham. Yes? Maybe you'd like to tell the class what you were saying to your buddy back there. I'm sure it'll interest them, too. Well, it wasn't anything important, so I... Well, if it wasn't so important, maybe you could have waited until after class to say it then. Because in class here, you've all got a lot to learn and not much time to learn it in. Yes, sir. We're going to try to make you into photographers. We've got only 14 weeks to do it in. Everything you do in these classrooms has got to count. Is that clear, Latham? Yes, Sergeant. Now, uh, for the record, what was it you were saying? I said you were a pretty nice guy. You're going to have to watch out, Jerry. You should get on the wrong side of Sergeant Martin. You're not kidding. Oh, boy, the day's only half over and I'm bushed. I could hit the sack right now and stay there for about 18 hours. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long day. Oh, you can say that again. 
Do you, you think you think we're ever going to learn all this stuff, Bruce? Oh, I don't know. Sure, more than what I used to think taking pictures amounted to. Pushing the button, turning the crank. Yeah, like I used to with my box camera back home. I used to get some pretty good stuff, too. Uh, sure, more to it. Developing, printing, enlarging. Hey, yeah, that part's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Gee, maybe I can enlarge some of the pictures I took of my girl back home, Doris. That'd be pretty good. I could send them to her and make a big impression. Well, I guess you won't be able to later, in off hours and you stuff. You see, see, here's a, here's a beaut look. Hey, pretty slick chick, huh? Oh, yeah, sure is. Yeah, that one's worth blowing up, all right. Oh, listen to the big photographer blowing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine how we'd be talking in a while, and no one will be able to understand us. Openings, depth of field. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, another day. Yeah, time sure flies. Two weeks we've been here. Boy, though, in some ways it seems a lot longer. Imagine all we've learned. Yeah, it's a lot, all right. Hey, you want to take in a movie tonight? No, not me. I got permission from Sergeant Martin to use the lab. I'm going to try my hand at those enlargements of Doris. I think I'll go, anyhow. It's a pretty good show. Bill's changing tomorrow night. Uh, do me a favor, will you? Oh, well, sure. You know, I took some shots yesterday of that cute waft that works in the captain's office. Oh, yeah, I know the one. Well, Carol and something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, how about uh, blowing those up for me? Sure, give me the negatives. I'll do it. Okay, then. Right here. And thanks, Jerry. That's okay. It's no trouble. Oh, hi, Bruce. Oh, hi, Jerry. Hey, here's your enlargements I did last night. Catch. <laughs> thanks, kid. Hey, hey, these are good. Well, how about that? Gee, that Dora, she's she's really beautiful. You know, I never thought those snapshots would blow up so hey, well. Let me, let me, let me, let me see those. Oh, sure. Holy smoke. Hey, oh, where are mine, by the way? You said oh. that you... Oh. What's the matter? I've goofed. What do you mean? I mean, I've just finished putting the others in the mail to Doris. What, mine? Yours. Oh, how about that? Well, you, you got the envelopes mixed oh, up. Oh, huh? yeah. That's too bad. Well, you don't know how bad it really is. After I promised her I wouldn't look at another girl. Uh, I guess there's no way of getting them back. Not a chance. I ran all the way to the post office as it was just to make sure they'd go out in today's mail. Oh, gee. <laughs> Jerry. Hey, Jerry, that's your timer. What? Uh, your timer. The stuff's going to get overdeveloped. Oh, 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 the timer, yeah. What the heck's the matter with you lately? About 18 miles away all the time. Oh, nothing. Look, if it's about Doris and those pictures, why don't you just write to her and explain? No, no, Doris. Heck, it could happen to anyone. Not to Doris, it couldn't. She never makes mistakes. That's silly. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone but Doris. Ah. These look pretty good, handsome. Well, Ethan, what are these supposed to be? I guess they're a little overdone. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You've got a timer there, Latham. Use it. That's all. Oh, gee. Nothing goes on around here Sergeant Martin doesn't know about. I said it. I don't know how he does it, but it sure makes you careful. Yeah. Jeepers, Jerry, what are you doing? Huh? He just opened up that film pack. Oh, yeah? You exposed it. Oh, Oh, I did. Oh, listen, listen. You've got to get on the ball. When your mind is on it, you can turn out the best work of anyone in this class. I was, I was uh, thinking about coming out. Oh, for Pete's sake, think about it during your off-duty hours. Uh-oh, brother. Here comes Sergeant Martin. What's this? There's uh, some film, I guess. I can see that. I accidentally exposed it. Yeah, yeah. I deduced that, too. Sorry. I don't know what's the matter with you, Latham. I never had a student so careless. You know, I hate to say this, but if you don't straighten yourself out in the next few weeks, you're going to wash out of this course. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll try to be more careful. I like you, Latham. I'm only telling you this for your own good. Yeah, I understand. Giving you the warning so you'll have a chance to pull yourself together. You, you mean I, I, I can make it if I improve? Well, you'll have to work pretty hard. Well, gee, I will, Sergeant. <sighs> I don't know what's the matter with me. Well, I sure wish I knew. Maybe I could help out. I guess there's nothing you can do, Sergeant. It's all up to me. Uh-huh. Well, 
I hope for your own sake you can figure it out. Yeah, I hope so, too. You are listening to the proudly we hail production of The Champ. We'll return in just a moment for the second act. If you're an ex-serviceman experienced in one of the critical skills needed to keep America's air defense strong, you're in luck. The Career Incentive Act of 1955 opened up opportunity in the Air Force to veterans from all the armed services. Yes, if you possess one of the skills the Air Force needs, you may be qualified for the United States Air Force and in a grade that will be a pleasant surprise. The Air Force needs men skilled in many important fields. So put your service-earned experience to work to your best advantage as a member of the Air Force team. Make the credits you've earned toward a well-paying retirement policy pay off. For complete details, write or visit your nearest Air Force recruiter for the special prior serviceman's folder. See what a return to the armed services as an airman can mean to you. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present Act Two of The Champ. I don't see how you could do it, Jerry. Yeah. After Martin warned you last week, you'd have to get on the ball. I don't know. I just got hold of the wrong bottle. Uh, the developing fluid and the acid fix don't look anything alike. Yeah, I know. I guess I... I guess I wasn't looking. You weren't looking at Sergeant Martin's face, either, when he saw what you'd done. Well, maybe it's a good thing I wouldn't. Oh, listen, Jerry, you, you just can't flunk out for... Gosh sakes, why don't why you... Why don't I write to Doris? I can't. Gee, he hasn't said a word about it. He hasn't said a word, period. I haven't had a letter from her since I sent those pictures. Oh, uh, heck, if she's that kind of girl... Why, she's a wonderful girl. You just don't understand. And she never makes a mistake. I don't believe that. Uh, you better watch your step today. I'll try. Of course, you know, that's what you always say. Well, this time I mean it, honest. Well, do it then. Good morning, Sergeant. Morning, Latham. Hanson. Where is everybody? No lab today. Been dismissing them as they came in. You've all got a special assignment. Captain's orders. Gee, what? Competition. A special 35-millimeter competition. Sports pictures exclusively, limited to the base. You'll be allowed two roles only. Uh-huh, that ought to be enough. Uh-huh, and no substitutions. This film is specially marked so that if you spoil a roll, don't go down to the base exchange and buy another. It'll be disqualified. Negatives will be submitted with every print. I see. Now, here you are. And Latham... Yes. Watch it, will you? Oh, sure, sure, I'll be careful. <laughs> This is the kind of stuff that's fun. I wish it was all like this. Yeah, it kind of gives you a chance to do some individual work. Uh, have you got any ideas yet? So I guess I'll cover the baseball game this afternoon. Yeah, I might get something there. About the only sports event going on today. That's what I was going to do. Uh, no reason why we both can't. There's plenty of other guys there, too. I guess it'll be better covered photographically than any major league game in the country today. Okay, you finished with your coke? Yeah, yeah, let's go. It's almost time for the game to get started. If you show up good this afternoon in this thing, it'll probably mean a lot, Jerry. Yeah, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. I'm sure going to try not to do anything dumb. All you have to do is keep your mind on what you're doing instead of on Doris. Yeah, sure. I think I've got that licked anyhow. As soon as I finish this course, I'm going to try to get a few days leave and go home and see her. I can straighten yeah, it out. That's the way. If she doesn't understand, well, she just isn't for you, that's all. Well, I think she will. Good, good. Uh-oh, that's the end of my first roll. Oh, hurry up and change. Forrest coming to bat with the bases loaded. Anything can happen now. Yeah, I can see him down there now swinging a bat. Number 12, Forrest, we're back for Jackson. Where's Jerry? What'd you do? Uh-oh. Oh, 
Gee, Jerry, how'd you do that? I don't know. Gee, the whole road's exposed. Oh, that's terrible. You're telling me. Hey, Bruce, look, look, it wasn't my fault. That case said it wasn't checked when it was loaded, and it's faulty. See, it won't clamp shut. Now, let me see. You're right. No, it won't. It, it was defective. Yeah, but can't you just picture me taking it back to Sergeant Martin and trying to get another roll? Yeah, I guess he'd think you fouled it up somehow. Well, that's that. Anyhow, you, you still have another whole roll. Yeah, and I'm going to check this one before I use it. That's okay. Gee, you're going to have to be awful sure of your shots from now on. Yeah, well, I'll just be sure. That's all. Hey, hey, Jerry, look at this one. Let's see. This one here. It's still wet, but look at it. Yeah, yeah. I said, why don't you crop a bit off the left-hand side? That'll move the action more to the center, focus more attention oh, on gee, the... no, no. That's just what I didn't want to do. This way, I got a real gone-off-center effect. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no doubt that you get two guys together and you're going to get two different ideas. That's right. Hey, what do you think about this one? Yeah, see what it is. How, how about this one? Your eyes are out of focus. Yeah, you're right. You know, I never would have noticed. How, how about you? What do you got? One blank roll. Oh, I know, I know. What about the other one? Well, I guess I was being so careful at the game, I only used half of it up. Well, what the heck are you going to do with the other half at this time of night? Well, I don't know exactly. Maybe go on over the bowling alley or something like that. Oh, Jerry, it's pretty hard to get anything different on bowlers. Well, about everything you can think of has been done. Well, there's no use developing half a roll. Something might turn up. I haven't got anything here that would hardly be worth printing. Yeah, that's a shame. It is, because I really think I had some pretty good stuff on that first roll. Uh, are you going now? I might as well. I'll see what I can dig up. And, and Jerry, I'm sure sorry. I hope Martin doesn't blow his top about it. I can back you up about the defective case set. Well, heck, he can see that for himself. Well, so long. Yeah. I'll see you later, Jerry. I got this stuff to finish up now, or I go with you. Sure, I know. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, you, Latham, I saw the lights on. You're just finishing up? It's after 10. Yeah, I know. I had, um, I had some extra stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Saw you out at the game today. Anything good? Yeah, in a way. What do you mean, in a way? Well, as a matter of fact, I spoiled my first roll. And that was the one with the best shot on it. I see. You spoiled your first roll. That's right. And if, 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 if you look at this case set, you'll see why. I... I know you think I do everything wrong anyhow, but just this once, it wasn't now, my fault. wait a minute, fault. wait a minute. That's not so. I like you, and I just don't like to see you wash out of the course. Now, let's see this case set you're talking about. Oh, this is it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, finish up as soon as you can. Do you mind if I take this along with me? Oh, I've got no use for it now. See you in class tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Here's a couple together, Bruce. Okay. Boy, they've sure kept the winners under wraps. Yeah. They always got even a clue. Oh, shit, the captain. We'll soon be out of our misery anyway. Suspense has been killing me. Well, you all know why we're here, so I'll dispense with the formalities. But before I read the list of winners, I want to tell you that this was the hardest job of judging I've had in a long while. I don't think we've ever had a group with so many first-class entries. So those of you who fail to be mentioned are deserving of congratulations anyhow because we had to eliminate an awful lot of good ones. Incidentally, all the winners will be on exhibition outside immediately after the announcements are made. Well, here they are. The best action picture, Airman Third Class Charles Buckley for his shot of the winning run. Human interest goes to Airman Third Class Harry Palmer for his study of dejection on the bowling alley. Most unusual picture... Airman third class Jerry Latham for his picture of Joe Williams landing the punch which won him the world's middleweight championship. What? Tell you later. The best uncropped shot, Airman third class George Zablonski for one... Hey, Jerry, that's great. I don't know what to say. You don't know how worried I was when you exposed that first roll. <laughs> you weren't half as worried as I was. Look, what I want to know is how did you get... That, that one about the, the prize fighter. How did Hello you get there, that? Hello there, Congratulations. Thanks, Sergeant Martin. I mean it, too. You've really been doing some good work. Gee, no kidding. No kidding. I knew you had the stuff. 
And I've been watching you the last couple of weeks. You're doing okay. Gee, that's better news than having a winning picture. Well, maybe you don't think your better work had anything to do with having that winner. Well, I hadn't thought about it that way. You're going to find it much easier the last four weeks now. You should do darn well. Well, I sure hope so. One thing, though, Latham, and just give this a little thought. Suppose that picture had been on the first roll, the one you exposed. Gee, I thought you understood about that. It, it wasn't my fault. Oh, wasn't it? Well, I showed it to you. That case set wasn't checked when it was loaded. It was bent and it sprang open. That's right. I saw it, too. Yeah, and I saw it. And if you remember, I took it away with me. And in a way, Latham, it was your fault. Remember I told you that they were marked so they couldn't be substituted? Well, I checked back, and that case set was one in a batch that you yourself prepared about four weeks ago. Funny, isn't it? I don't think it's funny at all. In fact... I guess it's going to teach me a pretty good lesson. I kind of thought it would. That's why I brought it up. Thanks, Sergeant. Thanks a lot. That's okay. I'll just take it easy. I'll see you in class tomorrow. That is, if you don't have such a big head by then that you can't get through the door. Well, I won't. <laughs> don't worry. Gee, isn't that the strangest thing? Gosh, imagine how I'd have felt if some other guy had gotten that roll. Well, no one did. Hey, listen, you've got to tell me one thing. What, you mean about the shot? Yeah, how? Trade secret. Come on. <laughs> Took it off of the tube of the TV set in the service club. Well, why didn't I think of that? Well, you just weren't desperate like I was. Hey, listen, I got something more important than standing around here, yak. Well, what's that? Gee, I got a letter from Doris last night. She said she wrote me right after I got here, and she was mad because I didn't answer until she found out she hadn't mailed the letter. It was in her coat pocket all the time. You mean she made a mistake? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> What'd she say about the picture? Oh, she said if they had that kind of competition around here, she guessed she'd better come up for a Sunday and see that I didn't forget her. No fool. She wasn't mad. <laughs> Heck no. And, and that's where I've got to go. Her bus is doing uh, let, uh, four minutes flat. So long, pal. So long. Champ! If you're a service veteran, think about this for a moment. Are you making the most of your service gain skills? Well, here's something you should know. You may qualify to enlist in the United States Air Force in a grade that will be a pleasant surprise. The Air Force needs men with training and experience gained in all the armed forces. If you're skilled in one of the critical jobs needed to keep America's air defense strong, the Air Force offers you an opportunity to put those skills to work to your best advantage. You've already earned credits toward a valuable retirement policy, so why not protect your investment? Your Air Force recruiter has a prior serviceman's folder that will give you full details. Write or visit him right away for your copy. And put that service training to work for you and your country by being an airman. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented, transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center in New York for the United States Air Force. This is Ralph Rowland inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail.